it's Angel Vane, and this is episode nine of My Author's Diary. This week, I'm dealing with a dilemma that many part-time authors have to deal with on a regular basis. We actually have day jobs, and those day jobs are pretty important because they produce the paychecks that help us to fund the writing career that we're trying to get off the ground. So with my day job, I've had to travel a whole lot and I have a lot more traveling coming up over the next couple of months. Now the question becomes, when am I going to find time to stick to my writing schedule for my new novel? Now I mentioned this to you guys um, a couple of episodes ago that Mina and Julian had spoken to me and that their story was not done and I need to pick up their story. Well, I've been well on my way outlining and plotting and figuring out what all the scenes need to be and I'm actually writing scenes now. My goal was to hand over my draft of the novel to my editor by September 1st and I'm already behind schedule. Looking at my day job and all the traveling that I have to do over the next two months is going to be pretty daunting and I was really wondering how in the world am I going to stay on track with my writing schedule when I have all of this traveling and all this other stuff to do for my day job. Like it's gonna be extremely hard. And that's when it really dawned on me that you make time for the things that are important to you. And so when I thought about what I had coming up, really what I needed to do was make sure that I was making the most of the time that I have. Now, when I'm in the airport, I don't work on my day job because I deal with some pretty confidential information. And so I don't want people who are just passing by in the airport to be able to see this information. I'm not trying to get in trouble for insider trading or something like that. So because I'm not working on my day job when I'm at the airport or on the airplane, that's the prime opportunity, prime time for me to get some writing done. And that's exactly what I did this past week. As I was waiting around in the airport, when I was on the airplane, I worked on my scenes. Um, I got a lot done. And that's what I'm gonna have to plan to do going forward so that I can stay on track with my writing schedule. And it's all about making sure you have a good schedule and plan it out. So I'm planning out my writing. I've gotta plan out my walks so that I get my 10,000 steps in. I gotta plan out going in, into that room and getting um, some weight training done. And with a proper plan and sticking to your plan, you can actually accomplish your goals and not fall off track. My goal is to get my book published, the second book, um, the sequel to The Accidental Hero, sometime in October. Now, if I don't meet that goal, my secondary goal, because you know life does happen, is to make sure that it gets published in 2019, so before December 31st. Um, but really, I'm shooting for late October as a release date, and I have created an Excel file that calculates up how many scenes um, I write per week, and it projects out when I will be completed with writing the whole book based off how many scenes I expect to have in the book. And yes, I am very analytical like that. I love analytics. Like, love it, love it, love it. I'm always analyzing something. Um, and you, it's amazing that I can even write books. But I do write books in a very analytical way. It's very structured, um, so it fits with my personality. Um, yeah, so I have that plan. I know how many scenes I need to write on the days that I have dedicated to writing. And then I take advantage of time when I'm at the airport or have some type of downtime to squeeze in writing whenever I can. And I do that because it's important to me. So if you're in a situation and you feel like, you know, cause this happens to everybody. I don't have enough time. I'm so busy. I don't have enough time to do all the stuff that I want to do. Really stop and ask yourself this stuff that you're putting off. Is it really important to you? Is it really what you want to do? Because I truly believe that we make time for the things that we want to make time for. And the things that really are not something that we want to do, we don't make time for it. So just be honest with yourself. If you're not making time for something, just be honest and say, it's because it's not that important to me and I'm not gonna carve out any extra time for it. But if it is something that's important to you, you actually can find the time to do it and I bet you, you already are. After all of that, I've learned that life's little surprises, things that are pulling on you from different directions don't have to derail you from the other things that are truly important to you. Just make a plan and stick to your plan and make time for the things that are truly important and the things that are not important. Stop beating yourself up over it. 
put them to the side and say, you know what, I'm actually not worried about doing that because it's actually not important to me. Even if other people think that it should be important to me, I know it's not and so I'm not gonna stress over that. Making time for the things that truly mean something to you will be a lot easier if you're not also trying to make time for things that other people think that you should be doing. And that concludes episode nine of my author's diary. If you want to keep up with me and my stories and all the ups and downs I go through as I try to write and publish new books, click the subscribe button so you won't miss when I'm doing a video and I will see you next time.